Hello everyone, thank you in today's first video do weekend forecast for today's first video. So as always on a Saturday, having a look at the weather for the week ahead. And it's going to be an unsettled week. There's going to be low pressure dominating from begin to end. Bouts of heavy rain and strong winds too. It's going to be very mild through the early part of the week, but things will get colder later on. And there could even be some snow turning up over a uh, high ground in the north. So more about that uh, in a moment. And uh, yeah, I should get on with the uh, weekend forecast for you very, very shortly. Just to say that the second video update coming up later on this afternoon will be the regular 10 to 14 day, including all of the usual features. And uh, that will be coming up for you uh, later on this afternoon. Uh, websites we're using for weekend forecasts are coming from theweatherout.com and westnet.de. And you can find the links to both websites on the links page. So here we go then. Uh, this is the latest uh, radar picture from uh, the weather outlook. So uh, we've got a showery burst in the north through central and northern parts of the country. We've got patchy showery outbreaks of rain. Going further southwards, the rain is heavier and more persistent as well. We've got heavy rain across much of southern southeastern England. We've also got another band of heavy rain moving in through, uh, in, in through the IC towards Wales, southwest and also up to Northern Ireland as well. Generally, we're going to find England and Wales turning wetter through the course of uh, this afternoon. Here's today's starting pressure. Low pressure is well and truly in control of the weather racing in both the Atlantic, tight packed ice bars as well. So as, as well as having a lot of rain, it, it is also windy uh, too. So I'll find outbreaks of rain through Northern Ireland, Wales and England through the course of this afternoon becoming increasingly heavy and persistent as well, moving in from the south and from the west. But rain will always be a little bit more patchier and lighter uh, across uh, particularly northern parts of Northern England and up into Scotland, but even here some showery bursts are possible. Despite the rain, at least it will be mild, with temperatures ranging from 8 to 15 degrees. 15 degrees is 59 in Fahrenheit. Overnight tonight, we're going to find another area of low pressure swinging in from off the Atlantic through the second half of the night. So we begin uh, Saturday night with outbreaks of rain, again particularly focusing on England and Wales. Most of the persistent rain will move right into the North Sea through the first part of the night. Then we'll have a drier clearer slot uh, developing, although blustery heavy showers will continue around western coast of Scotland, Northern Ireland, North West England, Wales, South West England, and many of the second half of the night will actually find more persistent outbreaks of rain spreading northwards again uh, across particularly central, southern and eastern parts of England. There comes some really wet weather in uh, with that as well. Going to be a mild night, though. Uh, temperatures will be ranging uh, from around 6 to 11 degrees. 11 is 52 in Fahrenheit. Uh, into Sunday, this low pressure moves in from off the Atlantic Ocean and keeps the unsettled weather going. We start Sunday with uh, heavy and persistent outbreaks of rain through much of the Midlands, Central, Southern and Southeastern England as well. That rain will move out into the North Sea during the course of the morning with brighter skies spreading in from the west along these westy winds. As it brightens up there, there will still be heavy and blustery showers. And those showers could well merge into longer spells of rain across southern and southwestern parts of England and Wales in particular. Be a windy day and a colder day too. Temperatures will start off probably at around 13 or 14 in the extreme southeast corner. But as the persistent rain clears away, even though it brightens up, the temperature actually becomes colder. So we probably finish up with uh, a range of temperatures somewhere from around, say, 7 to uh, 11 degrees. Again, 11 is 52 in Fahrenheit. That's how things look on uh, Monday. Perhaps a slightly quieter today on Monday, although only at the expense of the next area of low pressure developing uh, from off the Atlantic. So I think we're looking at a main dry start to Monday with plenty of uh, bright or sunny spells too. For much of southern, central, eastern uh, Britain, we're going to keep a lot of dry weather through the day, although the sunshine probably gives way to more in way of cloud uh, during the course of the afternoon. In the west, it'll cloud up and start to turn wet again, so outbreaks of rain will return to western uh, Scotland, Northern Ireland, uh, North West England, and probably uh, much of Wales too. Uh, we're starting to draw up a southwesty wind as well. So after a chillier start to uh, Monday, it will actually turn very mild across most parts of the country with temperatures ranging from around, say, 9 to uh, 14 degrees Celsius, along with those balmy southwesterly winds. 
Uh, that's Tuesday. Uh, so again, all the low pressure is out to the north and west. We've got high pressure to our east and southeast across the continent. And we're still drawing up these very mild southwesterly uh, winds. Tuesday could be an exceptionally mild day. Possibly seeing temperatures reaching 16 degrees in the southeast at 61 Fahrenheit. Mainly dry for many southern and eastern parts of the country with uh, brighter sunny spells, but also variable amounts of cloud. In the northwest, there'll be an active cold front moving in during the course of the afternoon. That will bring a band of heavy rain across Scotland and Northern Ireland. That will probably start to move southwards in towards northwest England and north Wales by the end of uh, Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening. A uh, really, really mild day. Temperatures somewhere from around 10 to 16. That's 50 to 61 Fahrenheit. And uh, and yeah, so very, very mild. Probably the mildest day of the week on Tuesday. That cold front then spread south and east across the country uh, from Tuesday into Wednesday. We'll take a band of heavy rain and gale force winds across the country. That'll sweep across the country during Wednesday morning. Some really wet weather in with that. Um, and then as it brightens up, though, we'll start to turn uh, colder too. So a band of heavy rain, squally winds, gale force winds sweeping across the country through Wednesday morning. Behind it, it turns brighter with sunshine and blustery showers. As it turns brighter, it starts to turn colder again. Temperatures in the southeast will probably be up to around 13 or 14. That's around 55, 57 Fahrenheit. But to the north and the west, as it brightens up, temperatures will be falling away, uh, probably only uh, around sort of 5, 6, 7 across Scotland by the end of Wednesday afternoon. And uh, as the wind begins to turn around into the north to northwest, showers probably begin to turn wintry. Uh, across uh, particularly high ground uh, across uh, Scotland. So one of those days where the highest temperatures are in the southeast first thing, and then they'll fall away during the course of the day. Uh, that's Thursday, so we're in a northerly wind on Thursday, north to northwest wind. It will be a much colder day. There is a weather system that's trying to come in from off the Atlantic into the south. Uh, as well. So for Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, we're going to have a bright day with plenty of sunny spells, but there will be wintry showers. Snow falling to low levels, I think, in those showers uh, across Scotland during the course of Thursday. Further southwards, uh, we'll have cloud and outbreaks of rain potentially moving in from off the Atlantic into many central southern parts of England and Wales. Now, on the northern edge of that rain, because it's moving into cold air, there's just the outside chance that a little bit of it might start to turn to sleet or snow. And that'll be most likely through Wales and the Midlands and probably most likely over high ground. It's only a very low risk at this point, but it could be one to watch. Just depends. Um, but generally, this will be rain down in the south with wintry showers in the north and snow showers to low levels across Scotland. It's going to be a cold day on Thursday, much colder temperatures in the north, uh, only around 3 to 6 in the south, probably uh, around 5 to 9. Um, but again, we shave up many degrees uh, on Thursday compared to earlier on in the week. Uh, that rain moves away overnight uh, Thursday into Friday. Friday will start with a widespread frost before the next low pressure moves in from off the Atlantic, bringing more rain back in uh, during the course of Friday. So we begin Friday with plenty of sunny spells, but also a widespread frost. And then cloud and outbreaks of rain will spread in uh, from off the Atlantic. Now, as this rain moves into the cold air, it could start to turn to snow, even to low levels across Scotland and northern England. Probably only temporary, or, or only temporary, but uh, but for a while, maybe an hour or two, there could be like a covering of snow down to quite low levels on Friday uh, across Scotland before again uh, the snow turns back to rain and milder air begins to take in from off the Atlantic. Further south, it is likely to just be outbreaks of rain. And for much of eastern and southeastern England, actually the rain probably doesn't arrive until after dark. A cold day on Friday after widespread frost and then the cloud rain spread again. The best we're going to get with the temperatures will probably be somewhere from around 3 to, to 8 degrees. So it will be a cold day, and particularly so up in the north. And then that situation as we go through into next weekend, very, very unsettled, deep low pressure uh, across the country or to the northwest country on Saturday. So gale force winds, maybe severe gale force winds and heavy rain sweeping away to our east, followed by sunshine and blustery showers. And then Sunday, it begins to go colder again. So low pressure moves away to the east. We begin to turn wind back into the north again, with showers turning to snow, probably to low levels once more uh, across uh, Scotland. Wintry showers probably draping around the coast. In the south, I would have thought mainly dry and sunny spells. A mild day, or a mild start to the weekend anyway, 
on Saturday before the temperature turns quite a lot colder on Sunday. Loads and loads and loads going on this week. Finally, the charts from weather outlook. So, yes, we've got plenty of rain uh, to come today, especially across England and Wales. Tomorrow, very wet start across uh, much of England. That'll clear away to sunshine and blustery showers. A quiet today on Monday, probably the quietest day of week, or one of them uh, anyway, but there will be rain arriving in the northwest later on in the day. And then wet and windy in the north and west on Tuesday, mainly dry and very mild, potentially exceptionally mild in the southeast uh, on Tuesday. Wednesday, we take a band of heavy rain and gale force winds south and east across the country. We turn things brighter and colder. And then we go through into uh, Thursday, where we'll have sunshine and wintry showers and a cold day in the north with a band of more persistent rain down in the south. It will be much colder everywhere on uh, Thursday and then into Friday. Yes, we're looking at further outbreaks of rain spreading in from off the Atlantic. And your eyes don't deceive you. We have got snow symbols here as this rain comes in off the Atlantic. Uh, it could well turn to snow for, for timing to low levels across northern England and Scotland. Rain further south was, uh, and east was. And uh, yeah, just a much more wintry flavour as we go into the second half of the week. And we may even have to do snow watch in a two or three days' time. We shall have to see uh, about that. Right then, so in summary, where we're looking at a very unsettled week, low pressure is going to be bringing uh, regular bouts of heavy rain and strong to gale force winds as well. It starts off very mild, and up to the middle of the week, it will be very mild. But after that, temperatures will turn a lot colder, and some of this rain will begin to turn to snow, particularly so up in the north. We're going to be back later on with your 10 to 14 day beer update, including all of the regular features. So come back for that then. For this uh, weekend forecast, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.